Okay, so we've got kiwi, and let's get some strawberries going here. Now with the strawberries, I like to do two things. Number one, I like the strawberries with a flat bottom, which we don't really have too many in this one here. So either the smaller ones or the ones with a flat bottom. And what I'm talking about with the flat bottom is something like this, okay? And I like that because what I can do Just uh, you know, just cut it like so, and now I can make a whole bunch of slices that are cut somewhat the same. Now here we got some smaller ones. We'll do the same thing. One, two, three, four. Another one here for good measure. Okay, so basically, like I, like you just saw, I cut the hull off so that you wouldn't wouldn't need to worry about picking that off when you're trying to eat it. Okay, so now and we need some orange in there. We got the red, we got the green, we've got blueberries. Some mandarin orange is going. Okay, I'm getting them out of here because I want them to start drying off a little bit. Okay, there's that. All right, so everything else we can just pretty much pick and go. All right, so now I'm gonna pop these guys out. One just broke. Dang it. Well, that's a taster. <laughs> All right. Let me get that custard. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look how solid that is. Don't that look yummy? Okay. Let's, uh, we'll just use it. I can just use a spatula here, like so. Okay. Oh, that is thick. What's that? That is thick. <laughs> yeah. I could have added a little more cream, but... It's all right, it's gonna be good. Okay. Now, you don't wanna overdo it. I know you want to, I want to, but you don't wanna overdo it because then you don't have enough room for your fruit and your glaze. You want room for your glaze. Okay, so, as tempting as it is, less is better. So we got many more layers of goodies to go on these little shelves. Okay. Can't waste this one. No. <laughs> oh no. Get this little shell out of here. Okay. This off to the side. Off to the side. Alrighty, so now I like to start with my strawberries. Okay, so now notice I've got these points all in the same direction. So I'm going to go like so. Of course, I start with the biggest ones. <laughs> that. And then like that. Okay, actually, let's turn this over. 
I would be like that. Okay, now... One, two, three, and four. Now we'll do the kiwi. So we want to do this up in the corner here. Okay, and then that one can go right alongside on the round. See how I'm placing the fruit in the same place on each and every one of them. Okay. Ooh, actually. This one isn't going to be pretty. <laughs> okay, so now we'll do some orange right here on the other corner. those guys on there. Okay, so now let's do it's all about the contrast and the color. Now I've got these beautiful blueberries here, so put two of these guys on each one. Let's see? It's like summer in a tart shell. That's the idea, big boy. That's the idea. Easy. Oh, heck yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll leave that open because I might want to put a few more of those guys on. Because those really make them pop, you know? All right. So the raspberries, now as great as the raspberries are, they're what I like about them is that they make... This big, giant, you know, they bring height to them, see? Oh, yeah. That's why I always put them on last. See, they got to be right there up at the top. Oh, yeah. Put that right there. There. Heck, yeah. Oh, don't those look lovely? Mm, they sure do. Oh, wait, we got to go this way. Okay, so now we want to do another one of these, and then try another one. <laughs> so now there's four of each, uh, four on those. And we'll put two more of these on each of those two. They don't need to be perfect. I'm probably fussing just a little bit too much here. But I want them to look nice. Okay. All right. There we go. So now, oop, got to get a raspberry on our taster guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we'll just take these put them off to the side. 